how to import products from AliExpress to Shopify. Shopify dropshipping tutorial. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be going over how you can get started with your dropshipping business and import products that you see on AliExpress directly to your Shopify store. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing you want to do is log on to your Shopify store and from here, there are two ways you can do this. So the first way is you can be, you know, manually sending orders from AliExpress and downloading products, but that is very ineffective. And there is a easier way to do this via a integration called Deezer's Express. So Deezer's actually allows you to uh, add products from AliExpress directly onto your Shopify store. You can import them with a few clicks and it is free to use. So to get started, if you want, you can create an account on AliExpress. It's not really needed, uh, but you might want to do it anyways. Then you want to create an account on Deezer's. If you already have one, just log in. If you don't have one, click on try it for free and you will have to, you know, create your account. It's very simple and basic. Just a email and password is required. I'm going to log into my account. So you guys can see I've logged in, then it's going to ask me what is the platform that I want to link. So I want to click on Shopify because we want to link our Shopify store. Now this will open up a uh, Shopify tab for, you know, integrating Shopify into your account. You can choose to do this or you can go into your Shopify store and click on apps and then search for Deezus and just search for Deezus in the app store. It's going to be the same thing. So you will find it over here. This is AliExpress dropshipping. You're going to click on it and you can click on add application. And just like that, it will ask you whether or not you want to use this email address, the one that I've logged on with. So I'm going to click on yes, I want to use this email address. And then it will ask for verification. So you will just click on install application. And once you have done that, this will be completed. So now this will open up the Deezus platform to you and you can now start browsing all the products you see on AliExpress. Now you will find on the left side, you have your import list. The import list is products that you want to import onto your Shopify store and you can, uh, you know, add a bunch of different products that might be in consideration. Then later on, you can push these to the store. So first off, you're going to add them to this list and then once you push them, you will be able to see them in your my products list after that you will find uh your open orders uh, then you also have archived orders and all your basic settings now you guys can see if i click on find suppliers i have a bunch of different products it's like using aliexpress and what you want to do if you don't like this interface you can just go on to aliexpress so if you don't like the Deezer's uh, interface, then you can go on to AliExpress and you can just search for the product that you like, whatever product it might be. So let's say I'm just browsing around and let's say I saw these sneakers on AliExpress and I really like them. So what I will do is I will just copy the entire name and then go into Deezer's and paste the entire name over here. And this will get me the same search results and I can find the product that I am looking for. Then you can also click on filters and, you know, filter it out if you want shipping from a certain country. If you want to, you know, exceed or, you know, you want it to be a certain price and you can find all of the AliExpress products directly on this platform as well. So let's say I want to uh, import this product over here and so we have this product over here that I might like from AliExpress and you can choose AliExpress products as well. It doesn't really make a difference because uh, it's just uh, a different interface. You're still using the same application. So uh, whatever product it is, if you like it, you can click on it and it will open up the AliExpress tab for that product as well. So once you, you know, decide that it is a good product, then what you want to do is you're going to go back into Deezer's. And you will see this icon that pops up whenever you hover your mouse over a product. It says add to import list. So you will add it to your import list. Then you can, uh, you know, continue browsing and add more products and then filter them out later. But I like to go and we're going to go into our import list. And now you can see this is the product that we just added. 
Now you can just click on this and push it to your Shopify store. This will directly add your product to your Shopify store. I wouldn't recommend that simply because it is not going to be very effective uh, if you directly push it like so because you know the titles and all that need to be changed. So to do that you will be able to see these two little items and you have more actions as well. But you have these two items over here. So you want to click on edit product and you will see you have the title. You want to change the title from here. So now I've changed the title. Then you can add it to a specific collection that has been added to your Shopify store. Uh, this is, is integrated with Shopify. So all of your collections, types, tags will appear over here that you have created on Shopify. Then you have the variants. Maybe this product has too many variants and I only want to sell two. So you can choose to do that. I am just going to add all of these variants. I want to do all of those. Uh, you can choose to, you know, uh, filter out a certain color as well. Then you have the description. Obviously, AliExpress descriptions can be a little uh, overwhelming. So you can also change these as well. Uh, let's say you don't want, you know, the items to be listing age or brand name, color, decoration, elasticity. So I don't want any of that information. Then I also don't want this as well. Like so, you can customize the description as well, <clears throat> how it's going to appear on your Shopify store. You can remove any kind of excess gap that is present over here. Then you have your size charts and the size measurements. You can choose to, uh, you know, rephrase these as well, write them in a more uh, simplistic manner if you want. And then you have detailed photographs. Now you can choose to add these detailed photographs directly onto the product page. And then you have your images. So there are a bunch of different images. Let's say I want to exclude certain images. I can exclude them or include ones. Then I can also do that simply by clicking on this item over here. Now, the next is the shipping information. Uh, you can also select the certain countries that you might want to ship to. Let's say you're trying to establish your brand only in Canada. So you will only select Canada and only orders from Canada will be accepted. And you can, you know, get more shipping cost information, how much your seller is going to charge for shipping to Canada. Now, once you've done that, you're just going to click on save. And once you've customized the listing to how you want it to appear on Shopify, then you're going to select it and click on push to Shopify. Now, after that, it will ask you which store. This is my store on Shopify that we linked previously. Then the pricing rules. So uh, you can also choose to add your own price or, you know, the standard pricing rule. You can uncheck this and add your own price if you want to, you know, overprice it. If you want to sell it super expensive, then it's totally up to you. Then after that, you have continue selling when out of stock, also publish to online store. So by importing it, it will only go to my Shopify store. If I wanted to publish it to my Shopify store as well, I can select this option. I'm not going to do that just to show you guys how to publish items once they are in your Shopify store. So you're going to click on push to Shopify and one product is being pushed. Now I will just wait for the product to appear. Now you guys can see I have, you know, entered my Shopify dashboard. And in my product section, I can see the butterfly mesh blouse. All the information is how I want it. I can click on the product and the product is, you know, all of the items are customized. So you guys will be able to see all this. Then you can add your categories or anything other than that you want to add. Then you guys can see the pricing. You can change prices as well. And you also have purchase options, so, you know, different ways to buy the product. Now, once you have done all that, you guys will simply see. Now, once we have done all that, we can see this is our product. And if we click on preview on online store, this is what it is looking like. So if maybe you wanted to uh, archive the product, you can also archive the product if you're not certain about how uh, the product is currently appearing or anything like that. So you can also just uh, click on this and you can click on archive products and remove it temporarily from your store and later on restore it when um, you might, you know, fix the uh, listing of your product. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with with importing products from AliExpress to your Shopify store. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.